Western music uses what might seem like a strange or even cumbersome note naming system, where notes are named generally by one of seven letter names, and then specifically as a version of that letter name using some number of sharps or flats. We might say that D sharp is a sharp version of D natural, and that D flat is a flat version of D natural. We might also say, technically, that D natural is a flat version of D sharp and a sharp version of D flat. There is practical merit to such a naming system, since notes with the same letter name, especially those closest to each other in the circle of fifths, seem to be inherently interchangeable with one another to some degree. We might say that those notes have similar functions. For example, here's Joy to the World in its original form. And here it is in the major mode of the double harmonic scale, where the second and sixth scale degrees are flatted compared to the original. Here it is in a mode of the harmonic minor scale, where the third is flatted compared to the original, the fourth is sharped compared to the original, and the seventh is flatted compared to the original. This replaceability cannot be completely explained by the intervallic closeness of the replacement notes since, in tunings where the enharmonically equivalent notes of standard western tuning are no longer equivalent but are still relatively close in pitch, only the note that is named with the same letter name as the note it's replacing seems to retain the function of the original. For example, here's Joy to the World, tuned to 19 tone equal temperament. Here's the double harmonic version, tuned to 19 tonical temperament. And here it is with the flat second and flat sixth of the double harmonic version replaced with a sharp unison and sharp fifth, respectively. Here's the version in the mode of the harmonic minor, tuned to 19 tonical temperament. And here it is, still in 19 tonical temperament, with the minor third, sharp fourth, and flat seventh replaced with the sharp second, flat fifth, and sharp sixth, respectively. To make sure our impressions aren't influenced by a bias towards or against the flats being lower than the sharps, here's the same thing in 17 tone equal temperament. The regular version. The double harmonic version. the misspelled double harmonic version, the version in the mode of the harmonic minor scale, and the misspelled version of that scale. Even if one might describe the misspelled versions in a positive light as interesting, there seems to me to be an audible disjointedness about those versions, a loss of the original function, in both 19 and 17 tone equal temperament. This practical demonstration of the interchangeability of notes with the same letter name may leave one wondering how we might independently derive this relationship, or whether there is a theoretical rationale for this effect.
One way to derive the notes which our naming system gives the same letter name is as the notes that replace each other naturally when changing modes of the diatonic scale. As a seven note moment of symmetry scale, the diatonic scale can always be derived from a continuous chain of seven fifths. The number of notes above your tonic in the circle of fifths versus below it determines your mode, either Lydian, Ionian, Mixolydian, Dorian, Aeolian, Phrygian, or Locrian. Because the modes are adjacent in the circle of fifths, each differs from the next one by only one note, as one note is left behind at the end of the chain and one is added at the other end. It's those notes that are given the same letter name and seem to be interchangeable to some degree. It's by no coincidence that those two notes each occupy the same slot in the scale, by which I mean that they are between the same two other notes in the scale. That is only the case for MOS scales, and is related to the fact that MOS scales have only two sizes, one large and one small, for each generic interval class, like second, third, or fourth, When changing modes, we're actually swapping out one specific size of a generic interval above the tonic for the other. The diatonic scale's high degree of regularity in interval sizes may offer an explanation for the similar function of notes that have the same letter names since, as it turns out, swapping out notes of the diatonic scale for notes of the same letter name introduces less irregularity than the similar changes with which we compared them earlier. For example, the double harmonic scale has three sizes of second and seventh, three sizes of third and sixth, and three sizes of fourth and fifth. Whereas the misspelled version has four sizes of second and seventh, five sizes of third and sixth, and four sizes of fourth and fifth. Similarly, the harmonic minor scale contains three types of second and seventh, two types of third and sixth, and three types of fourth and fifth. Whereas the misspelled version has four types of second and seventh, three types of third and sixth, and three types of fourth and fifth. Of course, I can only speculate on whether melodic regularity is actually the reason behind the function of these scales. But if it is, then perhaps other MOS scales will yield comparably functional structures which could be treated in similar ways. We might even use a comparable note naming system, where notes are given letter names derived from their order in the MOS scale. and where we can modify notes of that MOS scale by the difference between the large and small steps of that scale so as to arrive at similarly melodically consistent scales. Such a system does bias one, however, towards the unsharped and unflatted notes, aka the naturals. In a future video, I'll cover an alternative naming system that retains the functional information of the sharps and flats while removing the bias towards the unsharped and unflatted notes.